Jack Optin for the cut break as well. Second ball down, seemed to work. He's made a ball. Did hit them slightly harder than Neil Raybone was, though, playing the same break earlier, so maybe that's the key on this table. Second ball down, hit them as hard as you can. Just off centre as well with the white off the bog line, but Jack's going to take yellow. Drop in behind the yellow on the rail. May take the plant on here, I think. Oh, didn't drop. So that one for later. Bag covered. Paul Broom comes into the table with on red. I believe he's missed that yellow to the middle there. Two balls he's missed in one frame there. Missed one down the rail as well. Paul Broom performed quite well at the uh, Newbury Open. I think um, featured on the TV table early in the day. But went 5 and up and managed to lose the match 8-6 I think if I remember rightly. here Jack Whelan he perhaps would have lost this frame really missing that yellow to the middle routine yellow but does manage to go 1-0 in front with the break is that a chance to see Paul Broom break then in this second frame oh, again a go opting for the soft cut break and as with Neil Raybone didn't work so nothing potted black 
push towards the right side rail as well. Try and nudge these balls into potting positions at the moment. The red ball has been sunk. It's a good pot on the yellow to the corner. Leaves himself one to the middle. Not sure whether he's trying to just affect a little bit of a nudge on the black ball there, but that was the case, he's not quite managed to achieve it, but again missing a very, very routine yellow and in off into the corner. This isn't the Paul Broom that we saw at Newbury a few weeks back. And I just had John, one of the referees, sat next to me a moment ago saying how Jack's managed to get through to this stage after being 2-0 down twice and really not playing very well apparently and again he's not really moved that black into a great position either he's in fact he knocked it safer maybe just wants to make the game a bit more difficult maybe he thinks that black ball's too easy now the cue ball as tight to that red as he could Red to centre again. So again, trying to move the black. Have to try again. Don't think this is the ball to do it. Oh, he has done it. But he's missed the red this time. Too worried about moving that black ball. And he's missed the pot. Took his eye off the pot there. Shakes his head again, as Jack does. Walks away from the table.
forces that into the corner. Didn't quite have enough angle to come back out for the red into the other corner. So again, making hard work of this one. again just uses the black as a blocker ball here for Jack down the rail you see a full ball snooker on the red so far. Crack, cracking advert for Black Ball Pool this one so far. <laughs> Dry break this time. This is good. I'd say this, this is a cracking advert for the game this. Running the gauntlet with the black ball again there. Neither player playing to their ability at the moment. It's been a little bit of a struggle so far this game. Once again, hitting it too thin that time. This time is in position on this red. You just screw back, doesn't need to use the side rail. Again, doesn't need to do too much with the cue ball here because he can just drop the black into the centre. And Jack Whedon from not really playing at his best is 3 0 up in this match. Try break there again from Pauls. That is, are we gonna, oh wow! It's just another missed red into the middle this time. 
Again, Jack Whelan really, really not uh, at his best tonight. Neither player are. I've seen Paul Broom play much better than this the other week in Newbury as well. Fancy Jack, really, if he was playing at his best, you'd fancy him to take these balls out from here, but stranger things have happened tonight. And again, not ideal shape on this red. We must be able to see, yeah, you can see the red, no real issue there, but getting position on this last red could be tricky. Needs to screw back across the table. Only goes in the top corner, I think. Don't think you can pop this into the middle. I think it goes top corner only. He drops this in, he should be on the black, no problem. Well, he's missed the red. He's undercut that one by about an inch. If he's got any ideas of being still in this tournament, Paul Broom needs to take these balls out now. the best of time again not playing perfect position can't keep the cue ball under control at the moment and we're just struggling with the pace of the table on this one should be able to just run this off the bottom cushion try to affect a little bit of movement on that yellow on the right hand side but hasn't got quite enough pace to move it towards the middle pocket tries again may have to just play this down into one of the corners now it's going to force him to play it that way John said next to me, a very good finish he's taken out here after poor position a couple of times. He has taken the finish out, so Paul Broom will stay in the tournament a little bit longer. very very close against that middle pocket but this really should be the end of this frame it'd be a broken dish from Jack Whelan just at the right moment here he's got very close to that red again I keep saying that it's well I think he's overrun it nowhere near it now 
for dropping on the black. He's going to have to send the cue ball around the angles here. Just about to say it should have been a break in dish, and really it should have been. If he's playing at his best, that would have gone in any day of the week and perfect shape on the red. So Paul Broom with another chance. One yellow tied up behind the black. The black ball looks like it might only go in the left corner. And that is only if he can finish high on it. Plays a, a safety or tries to in behind the yellow. <laughs> played a crazy first shot on the red but <laughs> once again no clear shot on the eight ball here I still think he can uh, well he's, he's going to try and take this in it off one cushion here past the black behind the yellow well he's got nowhere near that Second chance in two racks then for Paul Broom to try and put another score on his side of the board. Doesn't have to do again too much with the ball here. Just stun the yellow into the middle. Leaves the black to the core. He's played it with a bit more pace. Same outcome. Just drop the black in now. Back to 3-2. Should have really been... 4-1 there, you feel. So Paul Broom then trying to break to save himself and keep himself in the tournament still. Another cut break, soft version. Once again, a dry break. Jack really, really needs to take these balls out this time. He's really not playing well. He's struggling, but still in the tournament. time though you fancy him to uh, take these balls from here I've said this before though and he's gone on to miss the next ball but Let's see if we take this into the corner and just screw back through the middle of the table didn't want to really nudge the black he's got away with that I think one good positional shot then and Jack will be into the quarterfinals Here it is, black ball to centre, and Jack Whelan will finally put himself into the quarters. It's been a bit of a struggle, but he looked all right there. 